This is Mike Serini of this edition of Meet Your Council, and today we are in our West Dearborn uh, downtown district, and we're joined with Mr. Nasser Beydou. Nasser, thanks for uh, sitting down with us. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for being here. All right, so today we are at uh, Trio Eats. It's a new facility that was converted over from the old Barrera, and we like to highlight uh, what's going on in our business district, especially, Nasser, with everything that's going on downtown, people are saying, you know, the development, a lot of new restaurants, so we wanted to bring it in and highlight what are you doing differently. Uh, you're next door to the Yogurtopia, right on uh, Military and Michigan Avenue. So tell us what's going on here today and what you've done differently. Well, when we we took over Barrera and we uh, created a concept called Trio Eats. It's basically four friends who went to high school in wow. the early 80s to Fortson High School. Um, basically, we wanted to try and get back to the uh, time when food was natural and was healthy. You know the food your mother used to cook for you, the That's basics. Right. Uh, so we, we wanted to move away from all that processed food and we wanted to create some place where people can come and enjoy a great meal at a great value and that's why we created Trio Eats Excellent. where we focus on three main things, uh, pizzas, salads and wraps. And, and that's important also what you mentioned. I want to make sure people know that because today's world when they're trying to do this fast casual concepts and quick food it is convenient, but it's a lot of processed food. It's a very important point, frozen products. And you're is actually still providing a quick service because we came here and ate with my family. I thought it was very timely, but instead it's fresh ingredients. Is that what's going on? Yeah, we're not as fast as like the other restaurants are. You know, we take a little more time, but it's well worth it because you're getting a healthier meal. We make everything from scratch. We make our dough from scratch. We make our sauces from scratch, our salad dressings from scratch. We even make our own falafel from scratch. Yes, and falafel's a big deal nowadays because I'll tell you, it's not only, I always liked it, but it wasn't popular back then because everybody wants to eat meat. Now with uh, my brother being vegan and everybody going to health conscious, there's some all of a sudden popular. But that's the biggest uh, uh, thing that I've heard about here is the falafel is something uh, that is out of this world and something you definitely gotta try. All vegetable, give us some idea how you cook it. There's two theories on falafel. One is you make it with fava beans and uh, garbanzo beans. Whereas we make it strictly with only gar garbanzo beans and vegetables. And we make it in-house from scratch and we guarantee that it's the best falafel in Metro Detroit, if not in the U.S. I, I, you know what, that's what I've been hearing. And, and I'm a big connoisseur of falafel. People make fun of me, they think I'm, you eat that, who eats falafel? But nowadays it's so popular yeah. uh, because of the health aspects to it. So uh, that's excellent. I also know you did a difference in the, the baking of the pizza because I ate here before, um, and it was very good pizza. It was thinner, and now this one is still thin, but a little bit, it tastes a little different. It's a little thicker. But what have you done on the pizza side? Well, the old concept used to basically take frozen dough, and they put it in a dough press, press. par bake it, and cook it in a gas oven. Gas yes, oven. Whereas we make our dough from scratch, we hand stretch, and we cook it in a wood oven. Wow, that's a big difference. Right. And it's not gonna be this uniform 100%. Yeah. There's going to be little differences, but it's well worth the taste. Yeah, no, there is a difference. You can tell when you get the pizza that looks like in a picture and you get the one that has a couple extra bubbles in it that it's handmade and they usually taste better too, so that's great. So Nasser, I know that in today's market, I'm sure you see it too, everybody's health conscious, trying to keep the weight down and healthy eating, but they're also getting into, like we talked about, vegan options and, and cleaner eating. So tell us some of the things that you have here that set you apart. Well, we, we do vegan cheese. Uh, we have gluten-free dough if Excellent. people request it. We only f serve halal products. Everything is halal in the store. We know that to eat cleaner, the less you can introduce processing into the food, the cleaner the food is. Absolutely. And that's what we try to do. We, we do everything from scratch. Yeah, and, and, and I'll tell you, the gluten-free is, is a big deal because, you know, I've eaten pizzas before uh, like that. It, it, does, it does taste better. It's not that much difference in the taste, you don't lose a lot of flavor, and, and it's much healthier, much healthier. When you look at the menu, it's, it's incredible. So they have those options. Now, uh, what about for the lunch crowd? I know you have a great lunch crowd and we got all the development coming in here. Uh, you have a website and ways that they can uh, order quicker? Yeah, our website is www.trioeats.com. They can order online uh, from there and pick it up. They can go to our Facebook and order and pick it up. They can go uh, to Google and order and pick it up and they just so it's very simple quick streamlined like i said we're not the fastest right but we're the best 
So Nasser, also too, uh, for the residents to know as far as your operational hours, what time, I mean, you don't do breakfast, it's a lunch and dinner, what times are you open? We open at 11 o'clock uh, Monday through Saturday and at 12 on Sunday, and we close at 10 every night. We also offer college kids a 10% discount That's important. and Ford employees 10% discount. Excellent. They just got to show us their ID and they're golden. The discount definitely does help. And what's nice too is the, the atmosphere is incredible. And outside you have a great seating area. Finally, we're getting, I think we skipped the spring. We went from winter to summer. Right. And the outside cafe is nice. People like to sit outside and mingle and it's a good, Good outdoor seating. You got pretty good size uh, seating out as well. How many do you think you yeah, seat out we, there? We seat close to about 32 people outside. Excellent, excellent. So that's always a good option and, and really nice uh, a way to play off the other businesses outside too. You get to have that option to sit outside. Well, you know, we're in the, we see all the excitement and what's happening in West Dearborn and we're glad to be a part of it. And like I said, it's four friends from Portson and uh, there you go. It's just a great want to bring story. it back. Great, it's a great story, and that's why we wanted to highlight it. You know, I graduated from Fortson. It's even even our chef, we brought him back. He was in Florida, oh, that's uh, great. and so he's back here. So uh, another thing, Nasser, that we have seen a lot of, and I think is a big positive, and the mayor has uh, touched on it, is that the difference between our growth now and in the past is we're not having outside investors. We're having our, 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 our residents and people that have invested in Dearborn, that lived in Dearborn, grew up in Dearborn, like your story, reinvesting. So they have an interest in it, and that makes a big difference than outside people investing. They really care more, they understand the community more, and then that turns into better success. So we really thank you for repurposing the place, changing it over, and the health options are really good. So I really appreciate it. You remember, Mike, I used to run the American Arab Chamber of Commerce. That's so, right, that's so right. I know the business community. You know the community, absolutely, that's right. That was one of your, one of your fortes, and I know that that's definitely uh, something that we see is a positive in the city of Dearborn is our people coming, uh, the residents and past residents, current residents coming back and reinvesting. It's a big difference. So I want to thank you for doing that. Thanks for having us here. Thank you. And come on, try Trio Eats on Michigan Avenue and Military next door to the Yogurtopia. Great place, formerly the Barrera. Healthy eating. You'll have a great time. This is Mike Serenia, this edition of Meet Your Council.